Hi everybody, welcome to another episode of Ventures with Kramer. So today what I want to try and talk about is an issue that I've been thinking about and I've been starting to see showing up for some different people up in Canada that have been getting hit with some heavy snows and that is ice build up on your Starlink satellite dish. So let's go ahead and get started. So the issue that's starting to happen here is for some of the different people, and bear with me, I, I was a little bored, so I thought I'd have a little fun with some trying to do some animations on PowerPoint here. You start getting all this snow starting to fall down. When you get all that snow starting to fall down, and it starts accumulating. And for some people, you start getting multiple inches of snow overnight. You start building up a bunch of ice that's starting to connect off of the lower side of the dish. And they're connecting down to the house. And so what that eventually ends up making is a con actual ice bridge of icicles between the dish and the house, which makes it to where the dish is now all of a sudden locked in place and can't move. And so it's going to be a fight against that. And the main heating type piece is going to be happening up on the actual top flat part of the dish, way up on top of this surface here, not over in here. So to try and help figure that out, it's like, could this end up actually messing up the two different servos that are inside there? What's going to end up happening? They could end up end up breaking this. I mean, we're going to end up getting like replacement parts. What's going to end up happening? I'm hoping though, I have an idea that can be a nice, easy fix that doesn't really take too much. And I'm hoping to be able to test this out because it's supposed to be getting snow where I live in less than a week. If the weather guys are correct on what's supposed to be happening, I've never wished for bad weather to happen so much in my life, but hopefully I can be able to help try and get that and to try to see if this is a, a decent idea. So my idea, what I'm thinking about trying to do is to take some type of spray product. So whether that is the like WD-40 or some type of version of it, um, cooking spray, mineral oils, um, sometimes basically like oil. There's all kinds of snow and ice repellents uh, that have like Teflon or silicone based type materials in them. Um, some of these different types of oily type of stuff. I don't want to cover the entire dish. I already think that this dish is like a has a fabric that's like kind of hydrophobic and then you can see a lot of the videos where it does start to melt down. The issue again that happens is right down here towards the bottom is that eventually it gets cold enough on that outer edge with either wind blowing by or there's just not enough heat coming off of the dish to be able to radiate all the way to this outer edge that that icicle again it starts to build up and build up and build up and eventually connect up to that kind of chain going all the way down and connecting to the ground to make it to where it can't move well my goal if it's the bottom edge right here that seems to be the issue I want to just spray right along, at least from what I've been seeing on some of the videos, I want to spray just right along this edge here. The top half seems to be doing just fine. I might spray a little bit up onto the fabric here and then a little bit on the plastic underneath. So right underneath in that edge right there, that's the only spot that I want to try and spray and put something on there. I might even use car windshield washer fluid to try and see if there's something on there. If for whatever reason this stuff doesn't work and hopefully I can actually get some snow to be able to try and test this out, um, then I think I might try and move on to something that I maybe like glue on with a little bit of silicone, some type of like rain drip of an edge. But I'm hoping that this extra little bit helps to prevent so that whenever those droplets slide down and they get down towards this bottom edge, they don't want to just stop right here. So you get all this nice hydrophobic material on the surface of Dishy McFlat face, but then right at the very bottom edge where that kind of black silicone sealant connects up with the hard plastic of the underside, it's almost like the water stops right there. And then that gives it enough time. It's far enough away from the heat. It starts to freeze. Hopefully though, this will make it want to just kind of slide right back off and just continue to keep going or make it harder for whatever icicles do start to form to want to be able to try and fall off. Thanks for watching. If you got some other ideas you want to try and test out or you have some ones that you've been successful with, 
on your satellite dish or even on your own Starlink dish, definitely please comment down below. Let me know. Hit the like button for me. If you haven't subscribed, please subscribe. Peace, everybody.